What's happening guys? Okay, second intro for this video. So here we are back at Second Valley. Went to the speedway last night, but I don't think my SD card worked. Filmed a bit of that. Uh, left the speedway when it finished about 11 p.m. last night and cruised down here to Second Valley. And back here again because I've got the kayak on board this time. It was going to be a beautiful couple of days. So we're going to spend one day here, do a bit of kayaking, maybe a bit of snorkeling, try and get those fish that I didn't get on camera last time. And then we're going to head to Rapid Bay and camp tomorrow night down there. So here we go, going for a trip in the uh, kayak. And if any of you have watched any of my other videos, me trying to get in the kayak uh, isn't a pretty sight. And I've decided to do it with probably uh, 150 people here on the beach so I'm going to put the camera down and hopefully this all goes smoothly otherwise I'm going to look like a right idiot she's a bit dirty but give her a clean up so a successful launch in front of those people <laughs> managed to get in it and only wobble a little bit brilliant day we're going to go for a bit of a paddle down along the cliffs here see what we can see water is crystal clear I don't know whether you can see down through there you should be able to we got the main beach back behind us I probably haven't been around too much but I don't think I've seen water this clear it's looking back towards Adelaide probably about I don't know, 70, 80 kilometres up that way. And just around the southern point of Second Valley, we've got Rapid Bay over there. Didn't know it was so close. We're going to head over there tomorrow and uh, camp at the campsite. Well, they're going from a fair, fair height up there, up on that second one. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, he's chickening out. <laughs> that is a long way down there. Oh, feet first is usually better. Pretty good yourself. They're climbing up where that guy's getting out there, down the bottom on the right. That is just crazy. There's two people sitting up the top of the cliff. Hey, he did it. If they fall off of that, they're dead. That is absolutely stupid.
go for a bit of a walk out along the jetty tonight see if anyone's catching anything a few people out there blowing a gale out here no one's catching anything so I'm gonna call it a night for my fishing without even putting a rod in okay I haven't washed the bloody windscreen but it is time to start the music So Rapid Bay, great little seaside town. Got a bit of a caravan park down there. I'm trying to work out how to stay there. Uh, it's all locked up, there's no one on site, so I've had to text or phone someone up, then text them back my info, so I'm still waiting for them to get back to me. But for school holidays having finished, the place looks bloody packed. And the second valley where we were is just down there. And right on the tip, that first tip, you can actually see Sylvia, the boat from Expe Expedition Drenched, just moored there. So we'll go for a walk down along there later on. But uh, up this end, we've got the old quarry. So I think this was run by BHP. It's not closed probably in the 90s sometime. And I think they used to... Uh, was a limestone quarry or something and they used to crush it up and send it out in the boats and from what I've read there's supposed to have been three jetties here we'll go up here and check it out so I believe the original jetty's gone that one was built in the 1860s or something and then this one here was a BHP jetty and uh, that closed down I think in the 90s 91 somewhere around then maybe 1996 and it goes out to a T section at the end and uh, I used to take the kids out fishing on that one when it was still active probably about 20 25 years ago and then this new jetty was finished in 2006 Might sneak out there tonight and see if we catch that very elusive squid. Managed to get the kayak back on the roof by myself this morning, so it wasn't too bad. Stuck a bit of signage on the back, a bit of bling. And the beautiful Rapid Bay. So here we are, set up for the night. First time in an actual camping ground here at Rapid Bay. Beautiful little spot. Wasn't too hard to get in. I just had to ring them, then send them a text with info, and then Wayne meets you at the gate. 
and uh, let you in and fill out a bit more paperwork and uh, for me with just one person was $12.50 so a bit of a bargain there and they reckon they're catching a few squid off the jetty so no excuses tonight Okay guys, walk time. We're going to go for a bit of a walk down to the cliffs. Check that bit of a cave out. I don't know how far back it goes. Probably not very far. But uh, we're all set up here with Gilligan for the night. And uh, we'll go for a walk down there. Then we might chuck the... That's what I forgot, me bloody rod. Okay, I'll go back and get me rod. And uh, we might try off the cliffs, see if we can get any uh, squid. So we made it up here to the little cave. We go check it out. Doesn't look like it goes back very far. Might go back a little bit up there, but there's no way I'm climbing that. And a great view back out to the Rapid Bay Jetty. Thought I'd better film this just in case I go ass over tit. It's going to go out around here a little bit. Chuck the squid jag in for 10 minutes, see if anything happens. Then we might go for a snorkel. I don't think I'll be going too far around here. Well, that was no good. I'm going to throw a party the day I catch a squid. But it is warming up a fair bit and the wind has died down. I got me snorkel and goggles over here behind the cliff over there. So uh, I'm going to set the camera up so I can go underwater and we'll just go for a bit of a uh, snorkel along this cliff. See if we can see any fish and cool down.
Okay guys, we've made it across to the, um, where are we? Rapid Bay Jetty. I've done the walk. It's about, I'm guessing, a kilometre. I needed the exercise. Been a bit slack since the uh, river trip. And driving the cab doesn't help. Uh, I did film after I did my little bit of snorkeling, but the sound wasn't working, so I don't think I had it plugged in right. So I'm hoping I got the the uh, mic plugged in this time. Um, I don't know what that's going to come out like. It was uh, a few waves coming in, and it was knocking the dirt around a bit, so I don't think it's going to be that clear. But it could have just been my foggy goggles, so I'm not too sure. But. I don't think we saw any fish from what I saw down there, but uh, it was a bit of fun. But uh, let's go out and see if we can uh, catch a squid, which I think there's probably zero chance of that happening. But we've got to give it a crack. Okay, I better show you guys what I'm looking at. Beautiful night here, it's about 7, 7.30, something like that. Wind's died off a fair bit. Looking back towards the caravan park, we got a yacht moored over there. In the distance, which you probably can't see, is Sylvia from Expedition Drench. Duh. Parked, moored, back behind it. They're probably about a kilometre away. And uh, got a fair few here on the jetty, probably 15, 20. Out doing a bit of fishing or squidding. And here's a bit of a look from this side. As the guy just said that walked past me, it does look a little bit like an Indiana Jones movie. Well guys, the fishing was rubbish. Got nothing. Didn't see anyone else catching anything either. I think as soon as I walk out on the jetty, everyone will leave, leaves. That guy did get a stingray. I might have got that on film a little bit, and then he lost it. But, um, so, that means it's a Fritz sandwich tonight. So, uh, at least I can do a food review. And for those of you who are from interstate, this is the Fritz. This is one of the cheap ones. So it's just a processed meat. I think they call it Devon in a lot of the other states. But it's a bit of an icon in South Australia, especially the Bung Fritz. So that's the one you want. So uh, we'll be back with a uh, food review in a minute. Okay, guys, here we go. Fritz review, Fritz sandwich review. My torch has gone off, so the lighting's not too good. Oops, <laughs> that one's just gone off. We'll turn that back on. There we go. Yeah, rookie mistake. Um, remember Fritz, cut it up, put it on the barbecue, put it in the fry pan, have it for breakfast with eggs. Anyway, here we go. You can't go wrong with a Fritz sandwich. It's a 7.4 every day of the week. Anyway, that's going to finish this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Catch you guys next week.